Hey, what is up, YouTube? Demon Sparks here, and today I want to do this quick little um, demonstration DIY tutorial kind of video on uh, two things, which is one, rebroadcasting a Wi Fi network, which I'll be explaining in a second, and also two, is daisy chaining your routers, which is a very easy little task. Um, this is granted that you do have both of your wireless routers programmed already, um, etc. You have the network SSID. Uh, on all your uh, MAC address and all your port forwarding stuff handled and established and these are working modems, uh, routers, whatever you like to call them. So as you guys can see I have my first one. The Wi-Fi indicator is blinking. The internet logo uh, symbol is lit up green. Port 1 is also lit up green since it's being used in access. This white cable goes right over to the input port on the second modem or router, whatever you like to call it. And the white cable that was plugged into there is also um, on the output of your first router. So you want to do from your first router's output any port, uh, 1 to 4, as an output to the second modem's uh, input for your internet ethernet source. And you guys can see these are both active. It's blinking and everything. And they have internet. Um, this one you can see the indicator on the inside. I actually rather like. It's really neat. It's your uh, Wi-Fi activity indicator. You can also uh, turn just that light off. The router uh, modem is still on, but you can just turn that off uh, just if you don't want the lights on. Anyway, you want to uh, first get your Ethernet cord, uh, your yellow input port, and connect your Ethernet. And I have my uh, Ethernet on my laptop set as an output instead of an input. So this is feeding the Internet signal uh, through Ethernet. Uh, as you guys can see, the network meter. And you would want to, in order to enable uh, to share that network and output it through Ethernet, you want to go to your network and sharing. And if you're picking up the internet using Wi Fi, you would want to go to change adapter settings and select your wireless network card. Then hit properties, go to your network sharing. And you'd want to have that checked off, allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. So what that does is allows you uh, to output your internet uh, signal, picked up by Wi-Fi, fed into the laptop, then back out your ethernet, and down to your uh, Wi-Fi router. And if you want, you can have two of them. And here I will show you. There is my two networks. The, uh, the wired, the first one is the uh, Range Max Netgear. And the second one is obviously the D-Link router. And I have them uh, both all programmed up and everything like that. Uh, password protected. I've changed the SSIDs on the uh, networking. And I will go ahead and show you a demonstration of uh, something that's also a really neat feature. And give me one second. All right, so welcome back, you guys. Um, this is also the continuation of the networking uh, video for the routers. And in the right-hand corner, you can see I have my uh, network gadget. And on to the left, you'll see my phone. And I want to show you something that's pretty neat. Since this phone is picking up the uh, signal off of the Wi-Fi router that's connected to my laptop, and my laptop is feeding the internet, acting as, a, as an internet uh, ISP server, essentially. And if you have network monitoring on your laptop or computer, as you guys can see, it's download 2.37366 and your upload 0 0.040 or so, and the download is still downloading. As you guys can see, the current session 330, uh, 389, 389.3, 389.6, that's how much of the internet's bandwidth uh, actual download I'm currently using detected off of this phone because it's running through the network RAN off of this laptop. So I thought that was a neat little uh, kind of trick thing that I can show you guys how you can also monitor your uh, network's usage and bandwidth and speeds and all that stuff while using a mobile device without actually monitoring it on the mobile device itself. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video pretty informational and pretty easy to follow along with. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment what you think, and definitely subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and it really means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks again for watching.